but mystery cases are still coming through. And the fact that we are finding them through surveillance and community testing rather than through contact tracing, that is what we're concerned about because that does present risk. It means that those cases, until we find them, are out and about in the community and may be the source of other cases or themselves have been sourced through cases we don't yet know about. Yep. How, Jane. How many cases have been picked up by surveillance testing and you mentioned it as an area of concern that it's community and surveillance testing picking up cases. Um, can you give us an idea of the mix of that, like contact tracing versus, versus testing, and yeah, how many have been picked up specifically? By surveillance so testing? surveillance testing hasn't produced any healthcare workers and no essential workers because we have been going into essential workplaces for surveillance testing, and it's picked up nothing there um, uh, yet. But Dr Bluefield. Yes, and in addition to that, none of the community general testing, surveillance testing, has just has identified specific cases. The cases that have popped up are, in fact, the ones that have been identified, particularly at Middlemore Hospital, where even if the person was asymptomatic, they, uh, some of those people were swabbed and they were found to, to have the virus. So, in a sense, that's surveillance because they were asymptomatic. But the, the general community surveillance testing at this point in time across those suburbs where there's been focus testing hasn't thrown up um, additional cases as yet.